Brooks squad and you know that we the best we yeah the best, all these other schools ain't even no test yet we got the best curriculum and activities and you know that you gotta come around for our festivities Good morning and welcome to this wonderful Wednesday, the second day of October. I'm Serena. And I'm Faith Ann. Today's Hispanic Heritage Month fact is about a person we all have probably heard of. Carla Camilla Cabello is a Cuban-American singer and songwriter. Cabello was born in eastern Havana, Cuba on March 3, 1997. Her family moved back and forth between Cuba and Mexico before relocating to Miami, Florida when she was five. After appearing on The X Factor and finishing in third place, she became a member of the group Fifth Harmony. Cabello and the members of Fifth Harmony released their EP, Better Together, in 2013. In December of 2016, Cabello announced her departure from Fifth Harmony. She has since collaborated with other artists as well as released her own album, which went gold. Now here's Chase with our five-day forecast. Hey, I'm Chase with your five-day forecast. Wednesday is partly cloudy with a high of 93 and a low of 71. Thursday is mostly sunny with a high of 95 and a low of 70. Friday is sunny with a high of 91 and a low of 65. Saturday, partly cloudy with a high of 84 and a low of 64. And Sunday, it's a cloudy with a chance of afternoon showers. It's a high of 83 and a low of 64. Now for the joke of the day. If money really grows on trees, what would everyone's favorite season be? Fall? Now back to the news desk. Do you want to learn more about advanced placement and honors courses here at Pebblebrook? Here's your chance to do so. There will be an advanced learning night Thursday, October 3rd from 6 to 7.30 in the Reese Theater. Want to learn more about dual enrollment? Ms. Goldman is holding dual enrollment information sessions during all lunches today in the counseling office. You must sign up in order to receive a pass to attend the lunch session. session. Sign up with the QR code that is on the bulletin board across from the counseling office. The PSAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test will be on Wednesday, October 16th. All 10th grade students and select 11th grade students will complete the PSAT test that morning. Passes will be given to students. Homecoming week is next week. Are you ready to show off your school spirit? Here's how you can participate. Monday's dress up day is future so bright. So dress as your, as your future college or career. Then, Monday, then after school on Monday, there will be a Falcon family dinner at First Christian Church of Mableton. Everybody is invited. The dinner is from 4.30 to 6.30. Tuesday is I Woke Up Like This, Pajama Day. After school on Tuesday, there will be a slumber party trivia. Breakfast will be served for dinner. The cost is $5 and includes a pancake breakfast. Only 20 teams of five to six students will be allowed. Sign up while there is still room. There will be prizes. Wednesday will be Once Upon a Time Day, so dress as your favorite storybook or fairy tale character. Wednesday after school will be Cinderella Silent Disco. There will be a silent DJ in the black box. This event will be $5 and will, and will be from 4.30 to 6.30. Only 200 tickets are available. Snacks will be available for purchase. Thursday will be Remember the Time, so dress in your favorite throwback threads. Thursday after school, there will be a screen on the green at 7 o'clock at night. The cost is $5 and the movie title is still to be announced. Concessions will be available for purchase. Friday is the, is the time is now day, so it's game day. So wear your PHS gear. We will have a, prep, a pep rally during fourth block. Last but not least, on Saturday from 7 to 11 will be the homecoming dance in the Morgan Gym. We will have the time of our lives, so cannot wait to see everyone there. Tickets are $10 and will be sold at the door. Dates from another school must be approved ahead of time. Date forms are available in the Media Center in Unit 2. Be aware that there is a dress code for prom, or for homecoming too. No matter, um, no material made of denim or tennis shoes are allowed. Also, for the ladies, all dresses must be appropriate length. That means a minimum of fingertip length. Dresses should not be cut too low or be too revealing. See-through apparel or dresses are not allowed. 
For the gentlemen, dress pants and shirts are required. Students who do not comply with the homecoming dress code will not be allowed to be in the dance. If you have questions or concerns, see Ms. Harrell in Unit 2. Teachers, Culinary Arts needs your opinion during your planning this Friday. Please join culinary students in room 203 for the annual burger challenge between level 1 students, third block, from 12.30 to 1. If you, have planning, if you have third block planning, you will sample the mango salsa burger, Hawaiian pineapple burger, orange zest burger, all-American bacon cheese burger, cheese filled burger, and the barbecue pineapple burger. Again, this challenge is Friday, October 4th during third block between 12.30 and, run, and 1 in room 203. Students, did your parents receive a postcard letting them know that you qualify for Beta Club? If so, it's time to take the next step, and that is to pay your $25 dues to Ms. Powell before school in room 238. Seniors must be members before October 20th in order to qualify for scholarships. Uh, and these scholarships will be through the National Beta Club. The French National Honor Society is accepting applications. If you are planning to become a member of this prestigious organization, the time is now. You have until October the 25th to turn in your application and pay your dues. Every senior who took French 1 and French 2 is urged to join French National Honor Society. By doing so, you will earn your graduation cord. If you wish to become a member of the Spanish National Honor Society, please turn in your application and pay your dues by October 25th, 2019. Applications and dues will, be need to turn in to, will need to be turned in to Ms. Hernandez in room 420. If you have already turned in an application, please come by Ms. Hernandez's room 420 to vote for your officers. The winners will be announced on Monday morning. Representative Barry Loudermilk will host a skilled trades and apprenticeship career fair this Wednesday for students in Georgia's 11th district. They will meet with companies as well as tech and trade schools from across the district to learn more about training, apprenticeship, and available internship opportunities. The event is free, but the space is limited. Interested students can email eventsga11 at mail.house.gov to receive registration information. If you like writing lyrics, poetry, short stories, blog posts, or any other genre, please consider joining the Pebblebrook Literary Club. The club members provide support, learning, and challenge each other in the, creative, in the creative writing process. The PHS Literary Club will also be putting together an e-magazine featuring the writing, photography, visual art, music, and other artistic works of Pebblebrook students. The club will also host the 2020 Pebblebrook Poetry Slam this spring. See Mr. Ellis in room 1008 for more information or to join. They will meet on the first and third Tuesday of each month at 345. <laughs> Amen. Say man. It's your boy, Benji on the beat. Back in the studio with your sports news. And on Thursday, the JV football team plays a home game against Camel at 6 p.m. Also on Thursday, the varsity volleyball team will celebrate their senior night by playing a home game against Osborne at 6. There will be a girls basketball interest meeting this Thursday, October 3rd. If you want to learn more about being on the team, be sure to attend the meeting this Thursday at 345 in the Jackson Gym on Friday. The varsity football team plays a home game against North Cobb at, three, at 7.30. Congratulations to our Falcons defense player, Trenton Mitchell, offense player, Jasper Peacock, and special teams player, Briar Powers, for being named the players of the game for the game against Lithonia. Great job, guys. Varsity Club will be hosting its initial planning meeting Friday, October 4th in room 1003 at 7.30 in the, in the morning. If you are a varsity athlete who wants to earn community service hours, learn about scholarship opportunities, and increase school spirit, we want you. Do you want a chance to get your picture live on the morning announcements? We want to see, pitch, see your picture showing school spirit or at a club meeting or sporting event or your classroom. Just post your pictures on Instagram with the hashtag TV. The best pictures will be chosen to be aired on our show. Be sure to use the hashtag TV. when you post your pictures on Instagram so we can see it. And I'm out. Are you always hungry? Me too. There's no need for you to go hungry here at Pebblebrook because there are several options where you can get some snacks. The Jackson Snack Shop is now open before school from 745 to 810. It is located in the 300 hallway in the Jackson Building. The Jackson Snack Shop is sponsored by the Pebblebrook Robotics Club. 
Also, the tennis team is selling healthy snacks and gum every morning to support the program. The sale takes place in the main building next to the counseling office at the Five Point intersection. The special ed bake shop is now open Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning. The bake shop opens at 8, at eight in room 208 of the main building. The bake shop is an opportunity for special ed students to learn and raise money for purchasing items for their classrooms. Hands on Atlanta is seeking volunteers for its discovery program at Clay Elementary. Discovery is an engaging Saturday morning's enrichment program that offers activities to Metro Atlanta's five through K through five youth. Several dates are available. See Ms. Chin in the Media Center to sign up. Calling all PHS male students. If you would like to participate in a junior chef cookout at the Atlanta City Hall Atrium on November 17th, grab a junior gen application located outside of Chef Lions Room 203 and register for this awesome opportunity for you to serve up your best dish. If you did not get a chance to take your pictures, uh, Caddy Studios will be back for underclass and staff retakes on Thursday, October 17th. Yearbook will begin selling Chick-fil-A biscuits on Wednesdays. They will be sold in front of the yearbook room 908 from 7.20 to 8 in the morning. Biscuits will be $3 and only exact cash will be accepted. All money raised will go toward expanding the yearbook program. Order your yearbooks by visiting www.yearbookordercenter.com and enter Pebblebrook School Code 328. Payment plans are available. Forms can be picked up in front of room 1007, 908 and the main office. A junior class meeting will be held on Monday, October 7th. The following Monday, October 14th, you could start submitting your junior ring orders. Later that night, there will be a parent night. Prom tickets are on sale for $75 until November 22nd, and after that, prices will increase to $100. The last day to get them will, will be February 28th. See Ms. Harrell in Unit 2 for more information. Fellowship of Christian Athletes, better known as FCA, meets every Friday in room 907 at 7.40 a.m. for a time of fellowship, Bible study, and prayer. No fees or dues are required. You do not need to be an athlete to attend either. The organization welcomes all students and staff who wish to join. That's all the news for today. Tune in tomorrow for your latest announcements. If you have news you would like to see on Brooksquad TV, send us your announcements to tinyurl.com forward slash Brooksquad TV announcements. Please make sure you send it to us two days in advance. If you have pictures, you can send those to falconstream at gmail.com and tell us what the pictures are about so we can get them in your email so we can get them on the show. If you post to Instagram, please remember to use the hashtag Brooksquad TV so we can see your post showing all the cool things you are doing. Uh, I need to make sure y'all get y'all votes in for, you know what I'm saying, homecoming. That's next week on Friday. Mm -hmm. But me personally, I'm voting for Houston, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> make my day brighter. Vote for Houston. Look at those Skittles. Yeah. See, that, that's a great really bribe. Yeah. Yes. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you watching us in your classrooms. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, remember Falcons, believe you, you can. can. We out. It's Brooks Squad, and you know that we the best, yeah. We're All these other schools hey, ain't even hey, no hey, test, yeah. Hey, we got the best curriculum and activities, hey, and you know that you gotta hey, come hey, around for hey, our hey, festivities. Hey, hey, hey. Activities and you know that you gotta come around for our festivities.